Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to work on a new project. So recently I have been growing these bed alpha cucumbers outdoor and it's grown really well and it produced a, a bunch of nice fruits that I really like. And because I like this variety so much, I'm gonna cut a few branches, propagate them and then grow them indoor. Anyway, let me show you uh, what the cucumbers look like and, uh, and then we'll cut a few branches and start the propagation process. So I picked most of the fruits off already except for a one here that, I, that I'm saving for seeds. Check this one out. Very nice cucumber there. So I left this one purposely for seeds. So it's gonna remain there. And then I have a few fruits here. See here? So these are usually the size that you want to pick them. This is when they're crunchiest and uh, also most tasty yeah, for me. They're really nice and sweet, very crunchy, and uh, the skin you can eat the entire without having to do uh, cutting anything off. Good sized plants here. Uh, they grow really well. Uh, they don't do too well in triple digits heat, so uh, start them early when the temperature is 55 to 65 degrees that's when they're best uh, to start them and then when they go up to 80s 85 degrees fahrenheit that's when they produce the best if it goes to 90 and 100 they produce mostly male flowers and no fruits they'll just drop most of everything so that that's what i have uh, experience with since i've been growing this for a while now uh, anyway, we're going to cut a few branches off and then we're going to propagate them and let's and we're going to see if they grow well indoor through propagation because I really don't want to start from seeds. Okay, let's find a few branches that do not have any fruits on them and then we can cut those off. Uh, this one looks like a good one here and maybe this one as well. So we'll, we'll cut those. This is a nice branch here because it's actually just grown everywhere. So uh, let's cut this one instead of those that are nice and well placed in the cage there. So let's go ahead and cut, cut it right here. That's our first one. I need two. This is a good one here. No fruits on it. So we'll cut that one. Okay, here's one and that's the other one. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna propagate these and I'm probably gonna put this under the light inside. So what we need to do is uh, make sure there's no pests in here because when you take plants from outdoor inside, pests can take a hike or a hitch can hitchhike in there and then it can uh, spread to uh, your indoor plants if you have some in there. You see these are little white flies here. See that? When you touch them they just fly off. So you don't want to take those inside. What you need to do is use a neem oil spray and just, just, just spray those. And make sure they're all dead. Uh, I may have to wash this off later as well. So um, I'm going to clean up really well. That way none of these, these pests can get into my grow tent and spread everywhere. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to use water bottle to propagate them. And I'm just going to cut my bottle here like that and then just clean off some of the leaves here and these things here you, you don't really need them this part here as well and then you put it in here like that make sure it fits nicely in there and then 
put water in, just plain water right out of the faucet. Like that. And then we're going to put that under a grow light until they sprout roots. And then uh, once the, the plants have roots, then we'll move it into our, tra uh, our hydroponic system. Okay guys, here they are. They're sitting under this grow light here and these are full spectrum grow lights by uh, Hidden Harvest Company. You see here I have an extra space here so that's where I'm putting the the cutting and then the other one I'm putting over there under this one basically the same. So um, this is uh, I think it's a 45 watts uh, full spectrum grow light. Let me take let me take a look at the specs. Actually here it is. Yeah it is 45 watts um, and uh, I'm using it to to start some seedlings right now those right there and then this is where the cuttings are gonna go so I'll be back soon once they make progress and sprout some roots and then we'll we'll put them into a uh, a hydroponic unit and grow them in this grow tent right here so that's that's my grow tent uh, it's not doing anything right now, so that's why I'm, I'm testing the lights with them. So uh, we will be back soon. All right, guys, it has been exactly seven days, and we have progress on our cuttings. And here are the roots, you see there? So the first few days, the top of the plant kind of dried off on both of them. So I cut those parts off, but the, the remaining stems look pretty rough. This is basically just uh, a little stem there, some roots, and then a leaf because the top shoot just dried up all, and then it just died back. Uh, but this part is still alive and you see there, there's new growth. So that's good as long as there's a node there alive, uh, new shoots will come out of that and then they will, they will grow out. And then from those new shoots, there will be more side shoots. So I'm not worried about it. So uh, now that the plants or the cuttings have rooted, what we're gonna do is put this in a hydro setup uh, to speed up the process. Uh, and then uh, that way when I transplant them into the, uh, the actual hydroponic unit, it's, it's just moving them and, and so it's gonna be very easy to do. So uh, what we're gonna do now is pour out the water and then I'm gonna make this into a tiny a hydro unit and then we're gonna feed this uh, hydroponic nutrients for now so let's do that real quick okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this unit here we're gonna build a small hydro unit out of this so I just poured out the water and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this a little bit further down to around right here like that so what I'll have is a net cup that, that I will drop into here with a rock wool. So let me grab the rock wool cube real quick. Okay, here it is. And we're going to cut this in half, like not all the way, just like this. That way we can put the cutting in. And uh, let's take one of the cuttings here. And then what we need to do is wrap it around. Uh, make sure to not damage the roots in any way like this and we're going to put this into our net cup we have to make sure that the roots are pointing down Okay, and then we'll put it into our net cup here. And then we'll give it to some uh, hydroponic solution. And the hydroponic solution is pretty simple to make. I've done it many times on uh, my videos. So it's basically, I'm using DynaGrow right now. So five milliliter per gallon, uh, pH at five nine. And uh, that is it. 
So now we're going to put the solution in. You see how I submerged the, the roots completely? That's fine because we rooted it in water. So it's fine that the roots are completely in water right now. Um, if you did not root it in water and you do this, the roots are, the plants are going to drown. So uh, be careful. Uh, if you take this out of soil and then do this, you see how the, the net cup is submerged under water? It will die. But because, as I mentioned, because we root it uh, in, the, in liquid, the roots are water roots now. So that's why it's all the way submerged there and it would be fine. So I'm going to push this down a little. Okay, so that, that's, we're done for that one. Okay, I'm going to continue to do the other one. So I'll leave them here for now. Once they have a lot more roots, then we'll transfer it into the actual home where it will stay. All right, guys, it has been exactly 16 days now. And check out this cutting. It's grown quite a bit. It's drinking a lot more water now and it's putting out more roots. And then it sprouted side shoots here. Look at this. So now it looks like a, a young uh, cucumber plant. So I had two, but the other one didn't, didn't do too well, so I uh, threw it away. But I actually had three. One of this was uh, rooted outside. So we're gonna put this one in soil and see. Uh, there's not much uh, happening to this. I don't see any side shoot. I just see a bunch of roots and then a leaf. So there, I think there's a, some, sh some side shoots starting to come out. But I'm gonna test uh, this in soil uh, just to see if it will grow just as well as this one here. So today we're going to put this in a larger hydroponic system. And here's my one gallon. Uh, I have not mixed the nutrients yet. All I did was uh, add water. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some nutrients. What we're going to do is add five milliliter of this to a, to a gallon. So we'll just shake this up really well. And then we'll use the five milliliter here medicine dropper and get some nutrients. And then we're going to drop it in there, stir it up nicely. And then we're going to have to check the pH on that. It should be around six something because I, I do it pretty often. So I kind of recognize the number. So right now it's, it's about 6.9. So we need to drop it a little bit. And we're using pH down here to drop the pH to around 5.9. Okay, check the pH one more time. You want to let it settle for a bit before you check it. Okay, here it is sitting at 6.2, which is okay. Between 5.9 to 6.5 is good. Okay, what we're gonna do next is get our lid here, put it on top, and then we're going to drop our plant in, like so. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take zip tie and tie it around there. That way the plant doesn't fall over. So here's our zip tie. I'm gonna see if I can.
like that so it doesn't tip over once uh, it grow a little and get too heavy on top okay there we go and then we we'll just put it into our lid here and then turn it okay there we have it that is our plant here in our setup so let's go put it under a light and see how well this is gonna do okay guys and here is the other cutting that we did so uh, I'm putting this in a raised bed I'm, I'm not sure if this is gonna do anything it's pretty hot outside today it's almost like hundred degrees Fahrenheit so um, we'll just see these are extra anyway so I don't I don't really need them so uh, this is gonna go here and then let's take the other one inside and uh, put it under our lights all right guys it has been two weeks now since we transplanted the uh, the cutting into this unit here and uh, the plant is actually growing pretty well it 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 triple in size uh, it was initially around right here so it grew uh, a lot more there so now it's starting to put out more uh, of the growing shoots there so it's, it's climbing all over the place you see so looking pretty good I didn't expect that cucumber can be cloned or propagated but uh, this shows me that you can but um, the whole process took about a month now and I'm not sure if cloning it or propagating it is a, is better than starting the whole thing from seeds but it's actually a pretty fun project and uh, it proves to myself that it can be done so uh, uh, as you see there's some flowers there there are no fruits uh, in sight but I see flowers so eventually this is going to put out uh, fruits but it may require a little bit more time so you see I have a trellis thing there to allow it to climb right now um, anyway guys I'm gonna end the video here because uh, it's been too long already uh, if you guys want to see an update um, just leave the comments uh, below and then I'll I'll try to do a follow-up on this I'm gonna try to keep it alive to see if I can get fruits for this but again uh, it's grown under the the light setup right here and uh, so again here is the light setup that I'm using it's by hidden harvest company so uh, I will put all the links to uh, um, Brad who who created these lights so you can actually go and talk to him he has a YouTube channel and all that stuff so uh, um, just check the description and find those information so before I close this out I'm gonna show you the uh, the plant that I put in the ground all right guys here it is here's the plant that I propagated about the same time and I placed it in the ground it's actually doing not too bad it's just not grown as fast as hydroponic which I totally expected but uh, you see here there's a little shoot that's coming out there so uh, the plant is actually growing and it has really nice green healthy leaves so um, I guess just propagating and put them in the ground takes a while uh, hydroponic is probably a better way to go if you're gonna um, propagate but uh, I just wanted to see if it would work anyway guys thank you so much for watching I hope you liked the experiment if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching